Greetings, everyone. This is John Woodworth from ArrestaWorks. This is our MOV Arrestor AC Conduction Simulator, and I'm going to give you a demo on how it works and uh, how you can use it to better understand the two different currents that flow through arrestors at the same time. Over here on the right is our scope output, and it shows the voltage in blue, and in this case it shows the red as total current and the dotted red as the resistive current. And you can select which one you're looking at with this hide option over here. So now we just see total current and uh, we can hide capacitive current. So now it's just total current and voltage. And in a minute I'll show you how this changes with different voltage levels. On the left hand side is our digital input and output. At this point here we can enter the AC voltage that we'd like to uh, use for the MCOV and then these are outputs that show us the voltage on the system and the current through the arrestor and you can raise and lower the current voltage with these controls here so let's lower it down to um, a 13.2 system 13.8 system and we're getting closer so now we're at a 13.8 system right here this is the voltage that we would see for 13.8 kV, and we have applied here an 8.4 kV MCOV arrestor, and it has the leakage current of 11 microamps, and the AC leakage current, capacitive leakage current of 0.735 milliamps, and 0.055 watts, which is very low. So, if you want to see what happens during a TOV, you can raise the voltage up. Now we're at a 1.4 per unit over voltage, which is on a grounded system, that's about as high as you can get. And you can see that the, the watts are only up to 0 0.3 and there's um, 63 microamps of leakage current. And the, and the capacitive current is 1.09 milliamps. If we raise it up to um, a TOV that you would see on a delta system, if one of the legs were grounded, and now we have phase to phase voltage across the arrestor, you can see there's there's a bit of a discontinuity in the current on the, over at the scope. And if we hide the total current and just show you the resistive current and the capacitive current, you can see the capacitive current is still out of phase and still sinusoidal. But now we see some uh, strange wave shape, which is the third harmonic of the current. And that's what the resistive current is. And it's beginning to increase. And as we go to a higher TOV, something that you would get with the ferro resonance, um, let's say a two per unit TOV, we actually have conduction through the MOV at eight, uh, nine milliamps, uh, 8.7 milliamps of resistive current. We still only have 1.4 milliamps of capacitive current. 29 watts is being dissipated. What you would actually see on the scope would be this, and this is the total current, and as you lower it down, it quickly becomes sinusoidal again. But hiding inside of that are the two components, the capacitive and the resistive currents. So there you have it. That's what the, current, the two currents look like that make up the total current, the resistive current and the capacitive current through an MOV arrestor. You can use this tool to look at reference voltages, and I also have put a a little demonstration down here on what, uh, how you can determine if an arrestor has had some impulse damage during its lifetime. You can download this gadget from arrestworks.com and the instructions on how to use it are in the help section here and also in Arrestor Facts 27. Hope you enjoyed the little demo and have a great day.